Good morning, this is Katherine Jacobs with the West Michigan Estate Planning Center and I'm here today with Laura Morrison, a multi-generational financial advisor with Edward Jones here in Ada, Michigan. Good morning, welcome. Thanks for having me, Katherine. You know, Laura, a lot of financial planners talk about planning for retirement, but I'm hoping today we could talk about once you're in retirement, you know, there, you're there, what do we do now? Well, when you're in retirement, we're looking to continue on that roadmap. We're, we're building a roadmap to essentially the end of your life and figuring out what goals you may have that you want to reach in the time frame that we have allowed. Talking about asset consolidation and possibly estate planning and making sure we set things up to leave a legacy behind. So when you talk about consolidating, when your a client comes to you and you're telling them consolidating, what do you mean by that? So consolidating means putting all your assets into one location or under one roof. That doesn't mean less diversification. A lot of clients have multi um, or multiple financial advisors. The key thing is to get assets under one roof so we can really look at the big picture and build a, a long-term plan making sure we have everything appropriately set up. A big issue that we see is it's called the required minimum distribution. It's for clients once they um, reach 70 and a half years old, it's mandated that a certain amount of money has to come out of your retirement accounts. So when you have multiple advisors, things can get lost in the shuffle. So we really want to focus in on making sure we know truly the assets, what you have, and making sure appropriate actions are being taken for those assets. And probably better if one person is looking at your whole picture and helping you plan than a lot of people planning small parts. Absolutely. Okay, and, and you talked about, you know, getting your estate plan in order and, you know, that's certainly something that I always talk to clients about mm -hmm. being an elder law and estate planning attorney, but how does that play into your lap as a financial advisor? So as a financial advisor, I really try to break things down into different pieces when it comes to estate planning. And one of the first things I do is talk about preparing for the expected. So what are the different income needs and goals that you, the clients would like to reach, whether it be preparing to pass money on or um, using money for a retirement community, different needs that they may have. So we're developing a plan and really putting clients in control of what that plan is, building the, continuing to build the roadmap. So if you're helping your clients to plan, what other, what other tips or suggestions do you give them? As far as planning, we try to prepare for the unexpected as well. So if um, a life event may happen, such as um, medical needs, we need to talk about what assets we have available to set aside in case an emergency were to come up or something that isn't planned. Also talk about um, beneficiaries of accounts as well. And you may have one person set up, but what if the family dynamics change? Would that person continue to be the beneficiary on your account? So we need to dig deep and ask the right questions and really talk about how this affects your portfolio and your income needs through retirement. And, you know, in, in West Michigan and all over the country, you know, there are lots of financial advisors and, and you know, good financial advisors. But today when I introduced you and, and as I've gotten to know you and your practice, you're a multi-generational financial advisor. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit more about that and, and why, you, why you call yourself that. Okay. So in doing that, why I love what I do is working with families. And what we do is from each generation, assets tend to be passed on. And when it comes to working with elderly parents, we decide if it makes sense to involve their children and talk with them. So we'll do family meetings as well. And when it comes to preparing the legacy, that's something that we all will talk about if um, that's determined to be appropriate for everyone has individual needs and every situation is unique. So we decide who needs to be involved in things. So um, I work with three different generations of families. So maybe the grandparents, the adult children, and maybe their children who are just getting started saving for retirement. And you know, you talk about involving the children in, in three generations, and I know it's very important to you as a planner to really make sure that your clients are not just someone who you meet one time and you do a transaction or you give them some advice and then you never see them again. Mm -hmm. And 
Tell me a little bit more about your philosophy as to how you service your clients. So my whole goal is to build a long-term relationship with my clients. And by doing that, I don't want my clients to become just a number. I choose to work with a smaller group of clients so I get to know them personally. Um, myself and my staff, we become part of your family in a sense and know about your what's going on with the family dynamics, um, what children are your power of attorneys, um, what children you want different things to be taken care of for. So there's a lot of goals that we're finding out about for our clients and making sure we're building the portfolio appropriately so we can help you reach your individual goals. Great. Well, Laura Morrison, helping all West Michigan seniors build a roadmap through retirement. Thanks for being here, Laura. Financial advisor, multi-generational with Edward Jones. Thank you so much for having me.